This brand new detached house that's going to complete in about six to nine months' time has one of the largest frontage art pieces that you're going to find. And that's going to welcome you home as you're situated in Capital Park, University Road, right next to the good class bungalow and clave of the Chihun and Camden Park area. Join Promising Brothers for another of our signature landed home tours. Let's go. Now we're going to break it down into three key positioning factors as to why if you're in the market for something at about a 15 to 20 million dollar range, this brand new house itself is going to be one of your top contenders to consider. So first key positioning factor, that is the position itself because the location. This is located right in District 11 along University Road. If you're driving, you're within distance right on to the PIE, Lonnie Highway and also the Bukit Dima and Danyan Road. We're also very close to GCB enclaves like Chihun and Camden Park and this house itself is also situated on a pure two-storey bungalow detached house zoning. So that means that your traffic volume and your population density is extremely low over here and that's going to give you the privacy and exclusiveness that you're going to want to have in a detached house. Now let's pull up this table now over here on the amount of landed supply that we have in Singapore and let's zoom right into the detached houses specifically. You'll see that out of the 70 over thousand landed properties there are in Singapore, just about 10,000 of them are belonging to the pure detached categories. That brings us right about 14% in terms of the total landed supply and out of this 10,000 detached houses, almost 50 to 60% you will see already belong to these three main districts, District 10, 11 and 15. What that means for you as a detached homeowner or a potential home buyer is that the transaction volume and demand for detached houses is going to be the highest in these three districts. And of course, that number is going to start to dwindle down in terms of supply as more and more larger detached plots are being subdivided into brand new houses along the years. And I think from an investment perspective, this is going to be what you want as a secure asset because you're going to have strong and steady demand. There's going to be dwindling amount of supply as well. And we know that this is the usual equation that creates the higher growth potential. Next key positioning number two is the innovative design of this home. So it makes it future-proof yet at the same time delivering a one-of-a-kind, timeless, elegant design. This art piece was jointly created by ABN and YWA Studio. And I think they really brought full justice to this 20.8 meter land frontage that you have here. We can already see that this is definitely going to become one of the very iconic houses right along this stretch with a very strong presence on the street. The Italian concept Piagare was inspired by the folds and geometry of paper craft and its relations to architecture that brought about this elegant design. And besides that, of course, a white Frontage allows very functional benefits like lighting, ventilation, and also space planning. Most brand new developer builds are usually a large detached plot that has been subdivided. What we are getting here is extremely rare to see from developers because it is a singular plot of land that has been developed into a standalone detached house. Let's deep dive into the specifications of this house over here. This house is made of a two-storey detached with an attic level and also a basement level that has already been catered for. Seated on a land size of 5,274 square feet, total build up is about 6,698 square feet. Total of six ensuite bedrooms, you also have a lift and a swimming pool and your basement level can already easily cater about four cars. This is also freehold in nature. Frontage, you have that 20.8 meter. The depth is about 32.3 meters. And towards the back, 
the width of the house is 11.4 meters. And I think from here you can already see that this is a little bit different from your traditional longish rectangular plot of land. At the same time, create a very strong impression on the front for this project over here. So coming into the basement level, that's your ramp down right over here that you see. The width is roughly about 4.5 meters in terms of your turning radius. So that's going to fit already most of the SUVs. Ceiling height of the ramp itself is also already 2.1 meters. Parking, you can already cater for about 1, 2, 3, 4. So easily 4 cars that you can park within your basement level itself. If you have your daily cars, they can be parked right along this ramp or you can even park it along the street outside the house. And then right over here, that is the entrance into your foyer area. And then moving in, this is your home shelter that has been nicely tucked to the side. This as well, your palm room that's all neatly tucked away towards the rear portion of the house. Then this is your stairs that takes you up to level one. And I think the great thing also, you have a lift landing zone right from the basement level itself. And I think in terms of possibilities, there's a lot over here. If let's say you don't need four car park lots within your basement level, you can convert the other spaces maybe into your own underground entertainment room. And as we all know, the cost of constructing a basement is extremely high. In today's market, I think this is definitely an added benefit fit within your home itself. So coming up to level 1 area, what you're gonna have is of course two methods of entrance. You can either enter through the side gate over here that leads up the staircase onto your level 1 or if you're entering through the basement level, you're gonna come up in somewhere in the middle of the house through the stairs or through the lift. What I really like is that all the services area are nicely parked along this flank over here. Basically, your lift landing zone, your powder room, the helper's room and the helper's bathroom are all dedicated to one side. Your main spaces can now be zoned for your kitchen, your dining space and also your living room area. And I think that coupled together with a 3.4 meter ceiling height is just gonna give you a very grand feel as you're gonna get from the frontage of the house itself. Now let's talk about the land plot itself as we are on level one. Now this is the traditional plot that you will get in a semi-D or a detached housing zone. It's usually maybe the side of the house is allocated either for maybe like a garden or maybe like a full length pool right along this side over here. And if it's like a detached housing, then maybe you have one more stretch right along this side as well. And then usually the frontage that is catered for, maybe your car porch zone. And I think what our layout can have a very great benefit is that you'll see that all these things on the side, the garden and pool has now been allowed to be shifted forward right around this area alone. So you get your swimming pool over here, you got a 10 meter length. You got a 2 meter width as well and this is 1 meter in terms of depth for the swimming pool. So I think that adds on to a very strong impression on the facade. I think having your swimming pool, your living room, the outdoor alfresco area, I think that is a really beautiful zoning to host your friends and families. Coming upwards to level 2, you're going to have your master bedroom. The other two will be ensuite bedrooms as well. It's really great that all the bedrooms over here have all their own dedicated bathrooms. And also for the master bedroom, you have your own balcony space that's overlooking your entire frontage of the home. Within the master bedroom itself, you can even try to top up maybe like a walk-in wardrobe. You can do maybe like study area or even dresser. For the two other ensuite bedrooms, sufficient space for you to top up maybe like a study desk right along here that's facing towards the back of the house. Sufficient space that has already been allocated for the wardrobes as well. It's an L shape right along this corner. So I think space-wise has been sufficiently allocated for all the bedrooms over here. So moving on to your top level, the attic level, I would say the front bedroom 
the junior master room is quite similarly sized to your second level master bedroom. The key difference is just a little bit of the bedroom space over here has been in exchange for a bit more of a rectangular roof terrace layout. For the rear two bedrooms, they're going to be slightly smaller than the second level bedrooms. More space has actually been allocated for having a joined roof terrace. Again, all three bedrooms here are all en suite. And I think to sum it up in terms of the layout is that attic level, you are already gonna have 132 square meters. You also have maybe about 140 to 141 square meters on level two. First story within your built-in zone itself, 191 to 192 square meters. The basement level, 165 square meters. And we all know the cost of building basement is usually one and a half to two or even 2.5 times. So the amount of square meter and square footage that you're getting on the basement is really value for money within this project. Now let's move on to the last key positioning. This is the concept of buying time and expertise. This property itself, the key benefit is that we're gonna TOP in roughly about six to eight months time. And let's say that maybe you're comparing to buying an empty plot of land or maybe like a single level type of detached house for you to redevelop into your own design concept that you want. So first off, let's say time to find a suitable plot of land. That's already about six to nine months. Now we move on to the design planning and the approval processes. That's also gonna set you back easily about for six to nine months process and building and construction period for a detached house conservatively today I would say maybe about one and a half to two years that sets you a total of three years to prepare rental for for your own stay and today's market maybe in this region something of like a landed property or maybe you want a five bidder that's gonna set you back at least twelve thousand dollars times the three years that brings us to four hundred and thirty two thousand dollars in terms of the rental cost incurred. Another factor to consider is of course the surge in construction costs due to manpower crunch and also soaring raw material prices. And this of course may eventually swell up to cost you even more than buying a brand new house from a developer. So let's take an example of $500 per square foot on the build up space of about 7,000 square feet. That brings us to about $3.5 million. We factor in initially what we calculated on the rental. That brings your total cost to be right about the $4 million region. This house is asking at $18.2 million, meaning for it to make sense, you need to find a plot of land that is right about the $14 million range and also at about 5,000 plus square feet in terms of its size. What you're gonna usually find for the detached houses starting point would be right about the $15 million region onwards within this area. So that is of course your entry point and then what you want to see is in terms of your exit potential and of course when you buy into a landed property you want to see strong appreciation growth. Let's take a look and let's illustrate in terms of basically using purely just inflation rate let's say 15 years down the road. Let's take 2.5% inflation rate for example. At $40 million based on 2.5% inflation rate you'll see that it would already grow to about $20 million for a same plot of land and if we were to factor in a premium for the brand new houses 15 years later 20 million for the old one that would bring us to maybe about 26 to 28 million dollars for the brand new houses for our house itself it will fall in the 15 year category somewhere in the middle age kind of zone and i would say that would easily command somewhere in the mid region of about 24 million dollars and this is purely calculating just the inflation growth we have yet to factor in the growth appreciation rate that we may potentially see for landed properties and especially what we brought about in concept one earlier on the key positioning one in terms of your supply and demand the amount of detached houses has such a strong transaction volume and demand in this region yet the dwindling amount of supply and this has yet to be factored into our calculations over here So we've come to the end of this home tour. We hope that you really enjoyed the architectural drawings that have been done by the developers. Just to sum up again, this is seated on 5,274 square feet of land. Build-up space is 6,698 square feet. You've got six 
ensuite bedrooms, in-built lift, swimming pool, basement level, all already catered for. You're also within the central location of District 11, and this is also one of the top performing districts for detached houses. It's going to finish construction in about six to eight months' time. The asking price on this property is $18.2 million. And if you want to find out more about this property, feel free to contact our team at Problem Brothers. Myself or Jeremy will be more than happy to share with you more and to answer your queries. Thank you for staying through the end of this home tour. We hope that you like this video. And if you like it, give us a like and subscribe. And look out for our next home tour content. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. My name is Gavin Chan, Problem Brothers, always happy to show you the place.